This is the do-it-yourself strobe light kit. It cost just under $4. Let's take a look at the pieces. The board seems to be of good quality and well labeled. Certainly not made in America. It also has three 8050 transistors, a slew of resistors, a 503 variable resistor, a slew of diodes, 110 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, a 104 ceramic capacitor, four cables and sockets for them to plug into, two chips, the CD4017 and the NE555 timer, three bags of LEDs with different colors. Let's take a look at one of the bags. Also not made in America. Each pack also comes with 16 LEDs, a wire and a connector, and its own resistor. Here is a view of all the parts. Let's get going. First, attach the CD4017 chip here and the NE555 over here. The three transistors go over here. Next, the diodes. It's important to pay attention to which side this mark is on and correlate it with the mark on the board. The 4148s go over here and the 4007 here. Now the capacitors, the 10 microfarad over here and the 104 capacitor right here. The longer leg is the positive one. Then the resistors, the variable resistor goes in the corner. Below it are the 2Ks and the 10Ks go over here. The last step with this board is to connect these pieces over here and one over here. Now we'll take care of the smaller boards, the 22 ohm resistor here, and then the connection down there. All the LEDs go up here. Keep in mind that the longer one is the positive terminal. To make the soldering easier, I would recommend doing this one row at a time. This is what it looks like when this is finished. I'll do the same thing to the other two boards. Once that's done, all that's left to do is connect the wires to each other. Here is the finished product. Let's see it in action. I'm going to turn the lights off and plug it in. By turning the adjustable resistor, you can change the speed. Now some thoughts. I have a love-hate relationship with this project. The thing that I really like about it is this takes time. This is not a project that you can finish in under five minutes. There's a lot of soldering. There's a lot of pieces. It is also a very cool product. Another good thing is that once this is built, you can expand this on your own and make some really cool projects. The negatives for this project has a very poor design. For example, when you plug this in, the red wire is carrying the positive voltage. However, on this side, the red wire carries negative voltage. Another example of this would be the piece that attaches to the power. If you put it in according to the orientation it suggests, then your red wire ends up being your ground and your black wire your positive. Another point, these chips don't come with an insertion. I also found that these boards were poor quality and by just adjusting the lights, the board would break. Overall, I'd rate this project a 3 out of 10 and would not recommend it.